What's up? My name is Charles, and I'm going to show you how to make pasta with chai butter, shrimp, butternut squash, and wild mushroom. Okay, now let's talk about our wild mushrooms. So I am using oyster mushrooms. These can be found at most grocery stores nowadays, but they are dried, so we will need to rehydrate them. One of the good things about buying dried mushrooms is that you can even buy them online. So it's very easy to get very good quality mushrooms delivered to you dried, and they can be rehydrated pretty easily, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So essentially to rehydrate our mushrooms, we are going to add them to some boiling water. These are going to expand a lot in size. So even though this may not look like enough, I promise you this will be plenty. We're just gonna let these sit here and do their thing. This will take about 10, 15 minutes at the most. Done. Okay, so now that we have rehydrated these mushrooms, we ironically have to dehydrate them. We're just gonna let them sit in there and steam and we can squeeze some of the water out once they cool. But once we slice them and cook them, the water will evaporate pretty quickly. Okay, so we'll begin with our chai butter. I just use regular butter. I like this grass fed because it has a lot of flavor. I use unsalted because I prefer to add my own salt. This is going to be called a bill noisette. My French is probably very terrible, but I do know that a bill noisette is an amber colored butter that gets that way by cooking the proteins very slowly. As the butter, as the proteins, as the proteins in the butter begin to take on a golden color, they start to take on a roasted hazelnut flavor. This is very similar to when we cook the proteins in a steak or chicken or any meat. Okay, bill masset. This you're going to want to do over a pretty low heat. I'm making extra bill noisette because this can store in your fridge and can be used for a lot of things. This is really, really great with pancakes. You know you have the right heat when this butter is sizzling and not splattering. So if you see any splatter, just turn the heat down a little bit. You could even cook this whole thing on the lowest heat possible. This is my butter on low heat. I just swirl it every so often. Starting to get a nice foam. Now my butter is really foaming, taking on a beautiful hazelnut flavor. When my butter starts to get foamy and frothy, I know it's ready. This is going to continue to cook in the pan, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Now that we have all of our components, let's build our dish.
delicious pasta with beurre noisette garnished with rosemary flowers.